Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you a One Piece discussion video on Is Zoro Too Overpowered Post Time Skip? Since the time skip and entering the new world, Zoro has one-shotted or easily defeated every opponent he has had. He has not had one real fight since entering the new world, and even enemies that are hyped up as hell still lose against Zoro. A great example of this is Pika. Pika was one of the top executives of the Don Quixote family, one of his, one of his strongest members, and yet he, Zoro defeated him easily. Now I know the Don Quixote family was a letdown, but Zoro destroyed Pika. He cut him completely in two. And it, at this point, is just absolutely ridiculous. And I'm starting to look at Zoro sometimes, and I'm like, oh my god, he's Zoro, he's going to be fine. I should not be looking at Zoro and, and thinking how he's going to be fine. You want to know why? Because Zoro has had real fights with Thor. It's only since post-time kid that Zoro has started having this thing where he seems to one-shot almost every opponent. Now, you may disagree, but the last time I think Zoro went 100% all out was in his fight with Kaku, Due to the fact that he used Ashida, which I believe is still one of his most powerful attacks to date. But because he used it then, and he was already very tired, I believe that that was the last time he went all out. And that was over 10 years ago, real world time. And that was over 2 years, and that was, and that was over 2 years, over 2 full years ago, One Piece time. Now, during Dressrosa, we all knew Luffy would defeat Doflamingo. So what blew me away was the fact that there were people saying, this was, this was all pre-Gear 4, by the way, but there were people saying Zoro was stronger than Luffy. And I'm like, wait a minute. We both know Luffy going to beat Doflamingo. We, we all know how strong Doflamingo is. And you want to know how strong I think Doflamingo is, I will leave a link to my How Strong and Doflamingo video in the description box down below. But, we all know how strong Doflamingo is, and we all know how strong Zoro is. And since Luffy has to beat Doflamingo, if Zoro is stronger than Luffy, that means Zoro can beat Doflamingo, which I don't think he can. I think fighting style-wise, he has an advantage. He has more of an advantage than Luffy. Like, I feel like if he fought with Law, he may hold it on a little bit better. Just because of fighting style, but in terms of raw power, Zoro is nowhere near Luffy. It's, okay, no, I take it back. Zoro is very close to Luffy. Very close. But if I had to rank them, I'd probably say Zoro would be like a 97, and Zoro would be like a 100, and Luffy would be like a 100. It's like a 3% gap. I don't think it's very big. But guys, let's keep on going. Now, I love it. I love it. When Zoro does something epic. But from a writing standpoint, I don't like what Oda is doing with Zoro. Because Zoro is making... I mean, Oda. Oda is making Zoro do so many epic things. Be so badass, so powerful, and so awesome. On a consistent basis. That it's overshining characters like Sanji. Like when I... Or Nami. Or Chopper. When, I, when you compare Zoro, Zoro's growth and Zoro's epic moments to the rest of the crew, it pales in comparison. Zoro had so many more of them. As you saw earlier in the video, when he cut Pika in half, that was so god that was so goddamn amazing. It was beautiful. My eyes were watering. It was so pretty. It just when I saw that I almost cried it was so awesome. But guess what? How no other character besides Luffy Gear 4, no other straw hat had maybe had done something that awesome post time skip. There have been p other characters that have, but no other straw hat has impressed me besides Luffy that much. Zoro is, is being made so overpowered and being so overhyped that it is making other characters look less impressive, and that is a problem, in my opinion. Now, I kind of talked about this a little bit in my Id Sanji a Disappointment post time skip video, but when. When I, I always compare. We all compare Zoro and Sanji. And when I compare Sanji to Zoro, Sanji and Zoro post-time skip, 
I thought I'm looking at Don. You're like, okay, where's the one shot of the over? Where, where where's the one shot? Where's the one shot of a character that is supposed to be really freaking strong? Where's the one shot? I'm like, it's not there. I'm like, okay, you can't be an epic in the world because you can't one shot anybody that's really strong. I'm not saying one shotting is a good thing. I'm saying though that in my opinion. If Zoro is going to be one-shotting all of his opponents, you can't expect everybody to be impressed with something with Sanji holding his own against someone like Virgo. It's like, well, Zoro would obviously one-shot him. I mean, he one-shots everybody, right? Zoro beats everybody easily nowadays, doesn't he? Like, story-wise, that's how I see it working. Until they get to Wano Kuni, which I swear to fucking God, if Oda did not have Zoro go all out in Wano Kuni, I will be furious. But the point is, now that I'm done with my little rant, is that Zoro is just whenever I see Zoro fight, I'm like he's fine. I do, when I see Sanji fight, I see the epic moment, and I get hyped, and now I'm interested. I'm like with Zoro, I'm just kind of, I'm more interested in how we get a one shot the guy, and how epic he is. And I'm just hyped to see him. I'm more hyped to see Zoro do something epic than than I am to see a good fight. Because let's be honest, as I said earlier, Zoro hasn't had a good fight since his fight with Kaku. But let's quickly talk about when Zoro will become. We'll start. We'll go all out. Like I, I'll do another video dedicated more toward that probably when we get closer to it. But let's talk about. Where I think Zoro will go all out, and why. I know that probably doesn't surprise any of you when I say it will be Wano Kuni, because let's be honest, it's that country of samurai, and Zoro's sword that he got from Ryuma is a treasure of that country. So, let's be honest, it's going to be a great arc, and Zoro will have to go all out in that arc. But the thing is, I'm, I personally am worried that when Zoro goes all out, I'm not going to be impressed. And I don't think I will be impressed. You want to know why? Because Zoro is so overpowered at this point. Instead of being impressed, I'm probably just going to be like, that's it? After all this hype? That's all you could give with Zoro? Like, right now, I want to see Zoro. I actually want to see Zoro lose, almost. I mean, it just... Oda has hyped up Zoro so much. It's kind of like the Naruto vs. Sasuke fight. It's getting into Naruto vs. Sasuke fight territory where it's like, it's so hyped up, you're worried if, if the author can pull it off. Like, when Naruto vs. Sasuke was coming up in the Naruto manga, I was like, I was concerned Kishi wouldn't, I wasn't doubting him as a writer, but I was concerned, is it even a possibility for a normal, for anyone? Any mangaka, could any mangaka make this fight worth the wait? This fight had been hyped up for over 10 years. I mean, you know, I was worried he wouldn't be able to pull it off. And I'm very worried about this thing with Oda. Because even though this fight then had nothing on the amount of time spent hyping up Naruto vs. Sake, Zoro had shit on that. But it does have the hype. Because Zoro had been made, because we're hyped up for this to see Zoro use his full power. Zoro's, you know, training and his power he achieved have been hyped up since the time skip. It getting to the point where I feel it is starting to negatively affect One Piece, and I really hope, because I am, I am almost one hundred percent sure the next arc will be Wano. But don't take my word for it. For it, I could very, I could be very, very wrong. But I hope. In the next dark, which was hopefully Wano, if I'm correct, Zoro will go all out in an epic fight that we will all love. But guys, that's all I had to say for this video today. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Have a great day, guys.